Okay, now that the plug is tight, the filter is tight, it is time to add oil. And what I like to do is take a rag or paper towel, clean around the oil fill area, take the cap off. And I checked the manual, this holds 3.9 quarts of oil. You can use a funnel, it's a lot easier. But I like the challenge of no funnel. Probably quicker if you use a funnel. If you don't have a real steady hand, you don't want to try this because then you'll dump oil down the back side of the motor. It'll be a smoking mess. Cut. Now earlier I failed to mention uh, I'm using 5W20 oil, which is what the manufacturer recommends, and it's printed here on the oil cap, and you can find it in your owner's manual. And usually uh, I would definitely st stick with what the manufacturer recommends. Tell you what, I don't drink, but when I can pour them like that, it makes me wonder if I shouldn't have been a bartender. Steady hands like that. It's ridiculous, I'll tell you. Let's go ahead and wipe some of the crap, or the uh, little bit of oil around there. Take the cap, wipe it, and go ahead and put it on. Now before I start the car and move it off the ramps, I'm just going to go ahead and check the level on the dipstick, make sure it's close to where it needs to be. Basically make sure that it all didn't pour out the bottom. It's probably hard for you to see on this dipstick, but it's, uh, it's about three quarters full. Now I'm going to go start up the car and back it down off the ramps. Okay, when you start the car after making sure you put oil in it and the filter is secure, take a look and you want to see where your oil pressure light is. Now since I pre-filled the filter, this is probably going to go off pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car. And it did. It, it went off that fast because the uh, oil pump didn't have to pump as much oil to fill that filter up and to get pressure to the engine. Now if you didn't pre-fill the oil filter, that may take a while longer for that light to come on, but it really shouldn't take more than three, four, five seconds. I'd say after five or six seconds, if that light's still on, you want to shut the motor off and, and see what's going on. Okay, I let the engine run a little bit, and I'm just going to go ahead and bump underneath. Make sure there are no leaks. Looks good. Make sure there is no leaks off the filter. Go ahead and verify that the filter is snug. Grab my wrench and verify that the oil drain plug is still tight. And I think we are good to go. Have my assistant back it down off the ramps. Oh. All right. Let the car run for a moment. 
system will shut it off. Now I'm going to clean up this mess and let the oil drain back in the oil pan and then I'll verify the oil level. Okay, I'm going to dig the oil filter out of here now. Wish I wouldn't have dropped that, but I did. Let that drain for a little bit. I'm going to dump the old oil in my oil holding container. Now if you don't have a place to put your used motor oil, you can get the funnel and dump it back into the bottles that the new oil came in. You can bring it to a recycling center. Uh, most auto parts stores will accept it free of charge. What I do is I dump it in this bulk container and then I think this is about two years worth but eventually uh, when there's a tox away day I can make it to they'll pump it out and take it for free and recycle it or burn it or do whatever they want to do with it. If you know someone that burns waste oil for heat you could go that route but I don't know anyone that does that right now. Whatever you do Dispose of it responsibly. Don't be a melon head. I read somewhere that uh, I think it only takes a gallon of oil to ruin a million gallons of fresh water. So don't be a melon head and, uh, and go dumping it or con contaminate a stream layer of groundwater because that's, uh, that's not a very good thing to do. The container. I still have oil at the bottom of it, but I just leave it until next time. So again, you need to ask yourself, is it really worth the trouble? It's it's some work, but I have a place to store the oil. I have the tools. I used to be a mechanic professionally, so it just, I don't know, it just gives me something to do, I guess. Okay, now I got all the mess cleaned up. Let's go ahead and check the oil level now if the car's had a chance to sit. And it looks like it's about halfway up on the, uh, the stick, so I'm going to just go ahead and add a little bit more. Good. Okay, there's a spot where I dropped some oil, and uh, that's something you got to ask yourself. You know, if you have a $10,000 concrete driveway, do you really want to be doing this in your driveway um, or your garage floor, if it's a nice garage floor. But uh, what I'm going to do is I got this torch here, and I'm going to... Ahead and just run that torch on that oil, and it'll help uh, burn it so it doesn't contaminate anything. I don't have really rocks running around. I don't know if it's unorthodox, but it, it seems to work. I'm doing that, I happen to notice, what do we got here? We got some, someone's been shooting in the driveway again. Darn kids. So we'll put that in the scrap pile. See, trying to be environmentally conscious is, uh, it pays. See in that little spot where it's flaming right there, that's the oil burning off. 